Okay guys, Dan from The Fishing Guru. So today we're going to show you how to use a cryovac machine. Uh, here we've got some whiting that we vacuum sealed. So why do we cryovac? The reason why we cryovac is what it does is by removing the air um, from the fish or from the meat that you're cryovacing. Um, or the bait, we use it a lot for our bait, uh, for squid and, and when we, and when we uh, get a big stash of cockles or whatever. By removing the air it actually prevents freezer burn. Uh, when you're freezing it and it means that when you go and thaw out that fish or that meat or the bait uh, in three four six twelve months time you actually don't get that that white um, really sort of hard not very nice uh, sort of bit on the surface which is actually freezer burn and it keeps the flesh in really really good condition for eating or obviously for bait as well so we use this for everything um, like I said, bait especially, bait a lot. Um, we like to make sure that when we do pull out that squid from the freezer or um, those Tommy Ruff slash Australian herring, um, that they're in just as good a condition as when we put them in there. Um, obviously it's gonna help the fish, uh, entice, help to entice the fish to bite a little bit more um, rather than having crappy old bait that's you know half frozen, half burn or whatever. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you how to use our machine and uh, hopefully it helps. All right, so the first thing we're obviously going to need uh, in order to make this happen guys is something to cry back So today we've got a couple of uh, King George Whiting fillets um, And then of course we also need a cry back machine. So we're using our Dometic uh, Two-way machine the reason why we're using this one you can probably hear the car running in the background um, This one's actually a 12 volt and 240 volt one uh, and we're out camping at the moment. So I'm actually running it off the car um, but yeah, of course you can buy uh, some really cheap ones online for about 40 or $50. Uh, they'll work just as well uh, in a home situation or if you've got a generator or something out on the road as well. So the last thing we need is uh, cryovac bags or vacuum sealing bags. Now, um, probably the most common ones are these rolls. So you can buy these rolls. Um, they come in various lengths and various widths. And what you essentially do is you make your own bags up, you cut them to length. Uh, and then on most of your cryovac machines, there's actually a heat sealer um, which you can use to sort of seal the bottom of the bag um, and, get the, uh, and get that. But what we're going to use today is we're actually going to use some pre-made bags up uh, that we've purchased, um, which just seem to fit the whiting really well. They're obviously a lot less stuffing around. So this bag here is one that we've actually purchased online. Um, if I put my whiting fillets in there, You'll see that it's perfectly, perfectly suited to the bag. Bear with us. Probably could have put them in first, to be honest with you, but that's all right. This is super awesome video footage. So we'll just put our, put our two fillets in. Give them a little bit of space in between them. Uh, you don't really want them sticking together too much. So these have, uh, these have been in the fridge for a little while, so they're a little bit tacky. Uh, they haven't got that sort of nice sheen on them that they would normally have when you first fill them up. There we go. So we've got our, uh, we've got our two whiting fillets in the bag. All right, now all we have to do from here is you basically, you want to set it so that the edge of your bag sits above this this chamber here because that's essentially your vacuum chamber which is going to pull all the air out so we'll do that and then based on your machine you just follow the instructions so this one this one here allows us normally to lock it in all right and then you just press the start button and then what it does is it starts sucking out the air you should be able to see that and you can hear it and then when it starts going off it's nut then that means that all the air is sucked out it's just getting that last little bit and then it will actually seal it for us as well so that shouldn't take more than about another 10 seconds there we go so it's telling us that we're now done it's just locked here we go so as you can see guys all the air has been removed out of this um, stops it from getting freezer burn it'll keep it in the freezer for well we've kept it probably up, up to 12 months um, it's also sealed it so that's what that heat sealer does that I was talking about so if you're gonna make your own bags you'd obviously, you'd obviously seal this end as well um, and then 
once it's sucked all the air out it seals it off and it obviously keeps the vacuum there so thanks for watching hopefully it helps and uh we'll catch you next time